Good evening. It's Thirsty Thursday, and we are thirsty for more love, joy, adventure, authenticity, goodness, wholeness, um, and all of that starts within, and you initiate it. I'm sure I say it every week that life doesn't happen to you. Life happens through you, and you are constantly creating your own reality with the thoughts you think and where you're focusing your attention. Um, so you want to make sure you're moving in a direction that you desire. So I pulled a card from my deck. Um, there's 26 discussion cards. They're 20% off this month. I'll put the link below. So of the 26 discussion questions, this is the card that I pulled this afternoon or this evening. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Certain relationships can energize or exhaust you. Describe the type of relationships you'd like to attract into your tribe. How can you model that vibe? So this is a good one. So yesterday I hosted my mastermind group right here at the house. Um, I posted about it yesterday. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but it is, there are eight of us women entrepreneurs and we all work at home alone, right? So it's very easy to, uh, for us to feel like islands. So then when we get together as a mastermind group, it's absolutely magnificent because we are actively listening. We are problem solving. I'm, we're seeing each other in solution, not our problems. It's very elevating and it's magnificent. So when you think about this specific card, your vibe attracts your tribe, how can you model whatever it is you desire? It's clear to me that I need to be an active member of this mastermind group so that I'm creating um, what I am giving freely to other people for myself, right? So it is powerful. And when you are in intimate relationships, friendships, volunteer gigs, whatever type of relationship you're in, you want to make sure that you are modeling the vibe that you want reciprocated to you, the way that you treat other people. This feels really obvious, except sometimes we just need that gentle reminder. Uh, and, you know, Jim Rohn talked about it. He's a speaker, teacher, author, that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So really think about that. Your political affiliation, the type of car you drive, your educational background, your sense of humor. So thinking about that, you might want to just examine who those five people are and make intentional decisions about keeping them in your tribe or maybe moving them to the outskirts um, so you can make room for, for more magnificence. Anyway, you have a wonderful evening and really start to think about that tribe that you are attracting into your life. Have a good night.